Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system, instruments, inline proof testing. This is a basics topic. My video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. SIS instruments inline testing is quite useful for SIS instruments. Whereas inline testing enables safe operation and functioning of SIS safety instrumented system. In this article, uh, testing refers to proof testing of SIS instruments as well as walls. End users should consult vendor safety manuals to determine recommended diagnostic online and offline proof test methods and associated coverage. Ensure system design and operation procedures are in place to support testing and repair activities. Every product manufacturer for the sensors, flow sensors, pressure sensors, temperature sensors, DP level sensors along with the transmitters as well as uh, the valves, final, final instruments valves. Those manufacturers, they need to prepare a safety manual pertaining to the product about the type of uh, electronic card used and its uh, failure rate, the uh, lambda values, etc. A lot of safety related concerns which are required by the IEC standards, International Committee standards that follows IEC 61508 recommendations has to be updated in their safety manual and sent along with the product whenever the instruments are being supplied as a safety instruments. So, the user has to look into the in different aspects to determine the different online offline test methods possible with that instruments. Moreover, it is imperative to conduct proof tests at the intervals in the safety requirement specifications. In general, the safety requirement specification determines the proof test coverage to be done in certain period like 2 years, 3 years, 4 years depending on the type of instrument configuration as well as the number of instruments available and the voting systems it has different categories based on which the proof testing period is being determined and entered into the safety requirement specification form the purpose of a sys is to reduce risk through instrumentation proof testing is an effective means to detect failures that reduce system reliability for low demand sifts and thus enable timely repair so why do we do proof test? Because this is to ensure that undetected failures cannot happen because during every proof testing, the internals, the electronics are being checked and the instruments it made healthy as a new. So that's why the proof testing has to be conducted without fail at the calculated intervals. An operation team must understand how decisions such as extending proof test intervals, turnaround cycle, affect demand rate and assist reliability. Supposing some instruments are planned to be tested in 5 years and the plant's turnaround period comes as 6 years. So, in this case, whether it is good to isolate the instrument or isolate the equipment to do the proof test in 5 years or it is wise to keep it running until 6 years. So, the decision has to be taken cautiously by the operations team along with the safety experts and which shall not impact the SIS reliability also. Diagnostics as well as online and offline proof testing can be useful in detecting device failures. So, repairs can be implemented and devices return to services. So, the diagnostics is an additional feature on this uh, safety instrumental system. So, which can which can help to detect the device failures, if any. Okay, inline safe testing, we will just go through a small process related uh, graphic. Here, this is a final control element, which is being fed uh, through a logic solver. And the this is the flow sensor available in the process piping which is giving an input to the logic solver and to test it either uh, it can be tested directly using a hot device. It is one type of device that can use to test the instruments and uh, see the calibration parameters, any time constraints, other settings, everything including the range, instrument tag, instrument uh, description etc. and value can be simulated to ensure that the reading happens as per the calibration or if there is a requirement the instrument need to be calibrated. Similarly, there is a loop calibrator 
which can be used to calibrate the valve and stroke it. In this case, being an on off wall, it will be stroked from 0 to 100 percent by giving a command from the DCS. So, this is just uh, given as a reference as a total loop uh, safety integrity level is uh, which is equal to uh, PFD of uh, PLC, PFD of sensor and PFD of, PFD of final control element. So, this is for the understanding. So, in this case, the instruments are being tested in line. Okay. Requirements for better inline testing. Inline testing implies that testing can be accomplished without a process shutdown. There are several requirements to be considered for accomplishing this. Redundancy is mostly used for CIS components, especially sensors, wherever possible based on configuration. A test of one CIS sensor can be done while the other CIS sensor continue to function. If there are two sensors, obviously it is easy to do the maintenance and proof testing on one sensor, keeping the other sensor in line for the safety protection functions. Bypasses could be installed around CIS final elements valves so that testing and maintenance can occur while the process is in operation. If there is a bypass, that valve can be opened according to the process requirement and the main valve, which is an emergency shutdown valve, can be stroked and proof testing can be performed so that the process keeps on running. In batch plants, inline testing might be accomplished by shutting down one train of equipment while keeping the rest of the plant running to eliminate or reduce any potential production loss. If it is a batch plant, there may be identical trains which is known as a similar kind of product will be coming out from that process. There could be 5 lines, 6 lines, 8 lines depending on the capacity of the plant. So, if that be the case, one line can be easily isolated and the product output which is coming from that particular line can be shared to the running line. So, in this case also, production will not be affected. So, whatever the line to be tested only will be isolated whereas other lines will be running maybe at the same capacity or at a higher capacity to accommodate the uh, loss of production for the particular line being tested. Documenting occurrences where the required automatic action has occurred during the operation of the plant such as a pump trip based on the same process condition that is required by the low power function. So, the documentation has to be kept thoroughly so that any incidents about the failures can be analyzed immediately and wherever there is a requirement the uh, repair and maintenance actions can be taken up. Okay, Automated testing and record keeping may be an option in some plants for a subset of the testing requirements. But all the aspects of testing requirements including visual inspection of the installation, leak testing etc. must be met according to the required calculated proof test intervals. Some plants may overrule the proper documentation requirements and uh, this may eventually call for some safety related concerns if at all happening in the in future then the auditors who are coming for the auditing and to evaluate watch what kind of damage has happened and all they may go through the records about the testing of the safety instrument system instruments and valves for several years maybe 10 years 15 years from that period they found that the records are not being properly taken or not done so the insurance claims cannot be done this is the one concern Automated testing and record keeping may be an option in some plants for a subset of the testing requirements, but all the experts for the testing requirements must be met according to the calculated proof test interval. Thank you.